Hey, look at that. We finally have an official release of some news slash information about 2K22 in the form of a trailer. It's got a little bit of gameplay in it. Not really gameplay, more like those, like the camera shot of the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shut up. Let's watch it. And then at the end, we're going to come back and talk about it. So stick around. I'm telling you, man, if this is copyrighted, I'm going to lose it. Like it. Tim the Tap Man. Wait a minute. I'm sorry to pause it so early on, but... Is that? Wait a minute. I know that big headed bitch. <laughs> I mean, I think that's my good friend Brandon does everything there in the in the background instead of the foreground. That's an interesting choice, which I would love to talk about later on. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> oh, love it. Woods in there for half a second. Cool, cool. The studios. We got it. Big E, you take the hit this time. Mm hmm. Game looks great so far. Keep oh wait. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Please keep it coming. <laughs> trying to trying to look for some Easter eggs. I don't see it. Oh. I am the best. Hair has physics. Hey. <laughs> it's just a play test. I bet it was. Uh-huh. Drew McIntyre very big on that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Drew McIntyre are very big on, you know, game development. Chokes like, we saw that with the stuff. Blow my mind. Blow my Can you keep it down? Oh, the dead man. Blow my mind. Redesign engine. Ultimate Warrior. Fresh gameplay. Peacekeeper. Stunning graphics. Oh, I like how Kofi looks in this game. Ah! Oh, I got Tankman. Here we. <laughs> okay, just look, look. I'm not a marketer, but I think maybe having a song called "Here We Go Again" for this series wasn't the wasn't the move. I digress because it hits different. Alleged, apparently. March 11th, pre-order now, three playable versions of The Undertaker. Wait, for the first time ever, we're going to have multiple Undertakers? That's crazy. <clears throat> it looks like they did fix up Drew, which was good, because he looked a little, little rough in the early trailers. Some of this stuff was, I think some of these clips were new, too. That Now, as far as the rest of that goes, first of all, I, like, on the serious note, I'm so happy for Brandon. That's my boy. It's been my friend for years, like, seeing his growth and progression and, and everything. These last couple years has been a, a genuine joy to watch. Don't tell him I said that though. It's my personal opinion, and some may not agree, that I and I love Tim the Tab Man. I think Tim's one of the coolest streamers. He's all you know, he's got a positive community. It's a very like if you're gonna pick somebody on the outside, I think that's a great choice. I'm just thinking how cool it would have been to see Brandon at the forefront of that, or Aaron or Dalton, or like any of, of the people in the community. And I know the first, uh, the first like response to that's going to be, well, you know, they do that to bring in a new audience. That's why you bring in somebody like that or an MGK or a Tim the Tatman. Normally, I would agree. Normally. However, wrestling games, and this is still something I think people just don't get in their heads. Wrestling games are a unique situation that you cannot apply other logic to. Because a kid that plays Warzone and Fortnite is not going to start playing WWE just because they saw Tim the Tatman in a commercial. It doesn't work that way in this genre. It might work that other ways. You put a fucking, uh, bah, bah, damn it, Johnny Knoxville in the Royal Rumble. Maybe people who haven't watched the Royal Rumble in a while, who happen to be Jackass fans, maybe they'll tune in and see it. That logic is not applied in the wrestling game world. I have a lot of examples about that if you want to talk about that more in depth, but that's just the way it is. So it's my personal opinion that it would have been very cool to see like one of the boys at the forefront of this whole thing. Maybe even somebody with acting experience, but let's not get that deep. I'm honestly left here and I wish I had more to say to y'all. I really do. Cause I don't like giving you like half-ass videos. I just, I wish I had more to say here. Um, I need to see 
uh, you know, straight on, straight on gameplay with the HUDs and no camera cuts and none of these like, you know, cool little angles to make stuff look cool. I need to see the straight on gameplay before I even tell you whether I think it's a good idea or not for you guys to even bother with this. I hope too, if nothing else, that I've, I've earned a bit of a reputation that yeah, I get hype about stuff if I'm excited about it, if I'm genuinely excited about something. And some people might think I overhype stuff, but that's like my personality. But also when shit is not good, I tell you that. And I think I've made that abundantly clear over the years. So I want to tell you one way or the other, but I genuinely, I don't have an answer yet. Only thing I will say is that these pre-order bonuses, three versions of The Undertaker, and what was it? Wasn't it like a Rey Mysterio something or other? Or was that fake? Was that the deluxe thing? I don't remember. Regardless, bing, bang, bang and booey, three versions of The Undertaker. <laughs> I thought that was, Ka I, I I looked real quick. I thought that was Kathy Kelly for a second. I was like, oh, Kathy's back. She's not back. Then I might tell you to pre-order. <laughs> but uh, I leave you here with Ray on a ladder in, in pink and turquoise. That's a dope outfit, honestly. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty sweet fit. I said it before, I'll say it again. As a lifelong wrestling game fan, I want every wrestling game that is released to be good. Maybe I will get my wish. Maybe I won't. Uh, but either way, I look forward to bringing you more about this game, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Thank you guys for stopping by. Stay tuned for much more 2K22 nonsense and other things and such. See you soon.